it is it is in a way and not only to me you know it's personal betrayal to the other clubs they were promising the others we are improving we will do this and that and they didn't i mean i said before i spoke with the ceo or or whatever he is at manchester united at woodward on thursday he called me he says great reforms i fully support it uh only financial fair play let's speak in the future but fantastic great he was happy he looked happy uh or i heard him happy uh i spoke with Daniele, i think 20 times in the last days the last time on saturday when i said i hear rumors about some super league and he says no these are this is a lie don't believe it i will call you back in one hour and he turned off the phone so it's it's hard to believe the level of immorality of of, of some people i mean uh, i'm 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 very surprised and all my colleagues are surprised and when we speak to the clubs they're shocked they they couldn't believe it so we have what we have and football will not be solved uh, sold to 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 I call them dirty dozen. Absolutely, absolutely. For me, it's nothing very personal. Maybe with with Anieli, who I treated as a friend, uh, I was mistaken. But things happen. Um, for with, the, but also it's not with Juventus. It's with him personally. For the clubs, I don't see any problem. It's business. Uh, they are welcome to, to, to the competition if they want to compete. But uh, it's hard to know what is in their mind now, if anything. L'informazione di La Press è sempre a casa tua. Metti like a questa news e iscriviti al canale.